Hello everyone and welcome back to our vet skill. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use Firebase for the web. You can use Firebase in your web projects. So let's see how. First, you need to sign in with your Google account and you must be signed in to the Firebase console available at console.firebase.google.com. So to start, first we will go in our add project section to create our project. So first, the first step is to start with a name. So I'm just gonna write this Firebase task r of hq and i'm going to continue so first now it's asking for the google analytics for your firebase project so i'm just going to enable the analytics this will um, sometimes show me uh, like the analytics on how many on the usage and that so i'm going to continue then i need to um, choose or create a google analysis account so i'm just going to use my default account for firebase so I'm going to create my project and this while this is loading, once it's loads, I will just copy the config data and I will show you in a thing I have already programmed. So here it is loading. And it's almost finished there now I can continue and here this is my Firebase console so we will be making a basic authentication application in which the user can log in to their account and log out this will only be the very basic application and later you can add other functionalities like database storage hosting and all those other features to your app later. So first we will need to create a web app here. We will uh, just need to uh, add our nickname. I'm just gonna keep a Firebase test. I'm not gonna set up hosting for now. So I'm just gonna register the app and I will get my config data, which I will put in my Firebase. So I already have loaded my scripts. We will see how to do that in a minute. First, I will copy the config and I will initialize my app. Okay, so here I have pasted my Firebase config and I have some uh, coding that I've already done. I can use, uh, we, I will show you how to make this as well. So let's get started. Before we can start, we must go to the authentication section and set up a sign-in method. The email and password method is what I'm gonna be showing you. So I just saved that. And now if I run my program with live server, then I can type in my email and I can make a password and sign up. So first I have the message box to verify my email. So I will send the verification email. Then I shall uh, find my, find the mail from no reply in my inbox. So we will uh, see how to customize this later. First, we can go to this link to verify it. And here, our email has been verified, as you can see. Now, if I reload my page, I get a uh, hello, uh, my email. I have my magic, uh, manage account, so I can reset my password if I want and I can log out. I can also close this message box. So here, this uh, after this, you can make it on your own uh, if you want to add more functionality like database and that. But how to make this very simple app that just, do, that just does only this, I can teach you. 
So let's start. So to start, we will, I first have my HTML file. Uh, this isn't much, it just has a title of favicon and I hooked up an empty style sheet. So uh, the main thing I have here is in my body, I have two divs. Uh, the main div, this is for the login. So here I just have a H3, welcome to login test. Uh, error, wrong username and password and my inputs and login and sign up buttons then i also have another uh, div logged in this is when the user is logged in so i have a uh, h3 again i just have this style so that if the text is more than the container it just replaces the end with dot 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 and my manage account button this is linked up with the index of HTML as well as the login and sign up. So let's start. First, in my index of HTML, I can have my Firebase config. And I'll just format that. Now to start, first, we need to use the login and sign up function. So I'm just going to put let login and this here so the this is how we will use it first i will set this to on let ought be firebase dot off so here i'm just going to put ought dot sign in with user sorry with email and password and this function requires two things the email and the password so i have my email and password input with id email and pwd so i am just going to add that here let email equal to document dot query selector email and here I'm going to let the password be the query selector password now I just need to put email dot value and same for password dot value. Now, this will basically log us in, but then what will happen? For that, when we can check if the login state has changed, that means if the user has logged in or logged out. So that is ought dot on ought state change sorry changed so here basically we will need to pass a function so here we will take the user parameter and we will uh here we can check if the user has logged in then user will have this or if the user has uh, is logged out or has never logged in so here no login and here logged in so we if it's the user is logged in then we will need to hide our login div and show our user div so I will just query them and I will just call that. So let user, user div be the document, not query selector, logged in, as I can see here. 
sorry that's a class so class logged in and my here i will keep my login div the, the my login div has the id login so i will just need to a bit of hide and show so if the user is logged in then i will need to set my user div i will need to show this one so style Not display. I will set this to block. And for my login div, I will set this to none. So this will hide the user div and show, sorry, show the user div and hide the login div. I will do the opposite for when the user is not locked in. And block. So I will just run this. And as you can see, my user div has hidden. Now, as you can see, there is a much difference because of a styling. So I will just add a bit of style. First, for I will um, I will make the center. So main div and log. Same for my logged in. I will set the position to absolute. Absolute. I will set the top, bottom, left, and right to zero and the margin to auto now here i can refresh this and it has not done anything i will just check why and Yes, my I will also have to set the height, the fit content, and the width, the fit content, and here it is centered. So I will just set the font. So I will go in the font, and I will just use this one the regular 400 yeah i can send the font for the whole body So here and now my this looks much better. I will also set my input. I will put a few stylings on it. So first of all, I will just I will again copy the font family. And I will here mark it as M. Important. Then here I will also put the width to a hundred percent. 
and the I will also set here the height no the padding to maybe 10 pixels so there I will set here the margin to maybe 5 pixels and the border radius to 10 pixels and as you can see here my inputs are a bit stylized I will also set my buttons so I will also set the font family for them and I will also copy a bit of this information so same thing as input so and as you can see our buttons are also looking a bit good but we will need to set the background color to uh, let's take aquamarine and here on I will add the transition to all 0.3 seconds and on the hover I will set the background color to white the border to aquamarine one pixel solid and here I will also just mention here the font sorry the color would be black so I will just check with this as you can see it works I have a bit of transition in everything so uh, first I will need to hide this at the beginning so I'm also gonna add that my error it has the class of error so I'm gonna put the display no. and now I can go back into my index.js and I can also uh, have a sign up method and first I will here put a catch just in case there are any errors and I will just do that sorry I will just console.log the error that will be that and now here I will also let the sign up sign up sign up function as I have called here so I instead of putting sign in with this I'm gonna put create sorry I will just refer to my code yes I will put create user with email and password so create user with email and password it will do the same thing so this should basically have a small code. I will test this out. So I'll set my email ID. I will just encoder and I will set this to maybe to my and this I will set to new I'll just set this new password and I will sign up so as you can see this came 
and in my authentication in my users i can see i have both my r of uno 8 account i created just now so if everyone has been following along and theirs works congratulations yours you have made a very basic a very basic app that just does one thing and that is it they let you sign in and sign up we will work on the login and logout and all the other features in a minute so if anyone wants a break it's break time okay so if everyone is back from their break let's continue so first what we must do is we must show that a wrong password or email message when the user logs in with the wrong email or password so here as you can see i have just console.log the error uh, i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna check that if the error dot okay i have just copied so yes if error dot code is odd wrong odd wrong password or odd user not found then i will show the error message so i will just create a variable not error yes message and i will set this to document dot query selector and i will put dot error so here i will set the error message dot display to um error message dot style dot display to block that means I'm going to show the error message. And otherwise, we are just going to let that be empty. So let's check again here. I will refresh. So, okay. I don't think that it will let me continue without, uh, without logging out. So let's first work on our log out code. So the logout is very simple. I will just create a function here. Let logout be here. Uh, also for later, we will also need to add an account div. So we will be requiring this account div later. Right now we're just gonna let that be empty. So first I will here, I will go into the auth.logout. So I'm just going right now without continuing. Here I'm just going to go into the console and I'm just gonna just call the logout function. One second, I will just to firebase dot art dot log out uh, one thing I must be missing something I'll just check yes firebase dot art dot sign out sorry so I just made a small error it's sign out not log out so here i will just yes i will just call the firebase dot opt dot opt dot sign out and here now we can test this out so i'm just gonna put back my email that's r108 and i'm gonna type in my password now, before continuing, I'm just going to add another character just to test if this works. So I put like just another character. 
and on login I get the wrong username and password message but when I keep that away and I log in then I get the welcome user box and also to reset it from next time because you see here if now again I uh, do the same thing if I put firebase dot auth dot sign out then I get the wrong username and password box so I'm going to go back here and I'm gonna put here in the this one I'm also going to again I'm gonna get the error message I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna just set it here and I'm gonna change this from block I'm gonna put this here now I'm gonna change this from block sorry, to to no to hide the error message when the when it's logged out so here I refreshed and uh it, yes so I will search just like type in my email address and I will just type in uh, a b c d e f g or something yes i'm going to log in i'm getting the wrong username and password now i'm going to type in my real password and i'm going to log in and here again i am going to go here and i'm going to sign out and here our our option does not show so that's good now we're gonna work on the user interface for the manage account as you can see it does nothing at the moment so here this manage account button it does call the this also i just forgot in the css file i'm just gonna put anything with dot mt10 just gonna put the margin top that's 10 pixels okay yes so it was manage account so i'm gonna do that here i'm gonna let manage account be this where we are going to pass this yeah so here uh, i have a bit of my code and that i will just copy paste it is a bit of a length so i i'll just explain what i'm doing here so yeah yes. here what is happening is i'm creating a div which has the position absolute and the top and left is zero and also the height and width is full so you can think of it as everything in the whole page the all the visible content of a page uh, there will be a div that and that will also have this a background color which has only 50 percent transparency and the color so that in that i'm going to put as you can see uh here the rp stands for reset password account div so this is my reset password button and this uh, here is my logout button that does the same thing then uh, my actual code for the account div this is just the code so my account div in our html will basically be another div inside it which will be have a white background and a bit of styling the id will be item now i have the code and then i have a close button that does the document dot body dot remove child account div so here i append this to the body so let's see what it does here i will go into manage account and as you can see here when i go to manage account i have a close button reset password and log out so for now i'm going to log out and as you can see here my div is still showing like this so that is for just one reason and that one reason is because 
we have here the uh, we don't close our div and to close it that's why i have our i count div i will just do the same thing i will remove the child account div that will delete that container so here i will just sign in again and i will type in my password and log in and when i log out now as you can see it automatically hides and also i forgot as you can see here when i click on manage account i have this little slider here and that's because my close button i have a bit of a margin there so i will just have to set that as important to not have any margin at all so i'll just set the style here One second, sorry. So yes, I will set the style so that here there will be a margin of zero pixels. I'm just going to put this with the important keyword. And here, when this loads, I can manage account and Let, I'll just see why it doesn't work. Here, my style has margin zero pixels important. It's a bit of a typo in the style. See why I leave. And also, in the beginning, when this loads, uh, the welcome user overlaps with the welcome to login test. So most of the time, or at least we're going to think of it, that the user is not signed in. So I'm just going to keep our user or logged in div hidden. So here in my logged in div dot logged in, because that's a style, I'm going to set here the display to none for now. And as you can see now, when we refresh, we first get the welcome to login test for a few minutes while it loads. And then here. So when I click on the manage account, I get my logout and reset password button. And also here, my close button fits perfectly. Good job. We worked it till here. Now, the only thing that is left is the reset password. So as you can see here, in my reset password, I also get the account div for the same reason, because we have to close that. So let reset password or RP for short. This where I get the account div. And here I have a bit of a bigger code. As you can see, it is, I will first get I will first get the email. The that is the Firebase dot dot current user dot email. So that would be the user dot sorry auth dot current user as you can see current user dot email. This will get the email. So. current email I will just set this and then I will just call the function firebase or odd dot send password reset email so I will set that odd dot send password reset email and this requires my email ID so current email and our we have to remove the account div or close that up. So now, if I reset my password, then that will come like this. And most of the time after resetting your password, you must, of course, log in again. So I'm just going to call the 
log out function and that automatically closes the account. So I don't need that. I will remove that from here and from my reset password. And when I run this, this should be our final application. So here I will first run this, I will be logged out. So first I will type my email or I can create one and my password. Then I can log into my account here and I can here in my manager account, I can log out. I just showed you how to do that or reset my password. That that's the same thing. And also, by the way, I had forgot to send that. So account div here, I have to send account div actually. Account div. And now when I run this, I will run this, I will log in. I will reset my password and then if I reload my Gmail and I go to the home page I will have my I should have received my email okay set one second I'll just check if there's an error no, no errors Okay, I, it might be just slow, I will just see. Sorry, I had forgot that I have to just change my email. This is my IM coder, so I will just switch my email and get back to you. So, I'm back and I have opened up my email. And here I have my, here, reset your password. And since I had called the reset password button three times due to different reasons, uh, I have my link three times. So if I open up here, try resetting your password again, your, reset, your request to reset your password has expired. And that's because I had sent it three times. I think I might need to go to the latest one. I will just set my new password to this. I will save it. And then I will go back and I will log in with my account. As you can see, if I log in now, I get my wrong username and password. But if I log in with my new password, and I log in here, then I get back to this, as you can see. Now, before we end, I will first, I will go back to here. And as you can see in this user, I will just change that. I will uh, change that from welcome user to welcome back and your email. So I will set that here at the on auth state change. So here I will let my H3 be the document dot query selector. Here login and sorry la the dot or actually hash user and the h3 i will just for now i will set the h3 dot inner html to welcome back and if i just test this out i get welcome back so that means i can i am querying it correctly now uh, if I want to set it to welcome back, welcome back, and here I will set a PR, PR, 
Uh, now, if I want to get the email ID, I will also set this to the backslash. Then I will need to go the same way. I will set this to here user dot email now as you can see before i had used uh like the art dot current user dot email but here since we are getting the user object from the art state chains that gives us the current user so we can use this user dot email so let's try it out i will refresh this and as you can see Welcome back, rv108.gmail.com. So, here it is. This is the final application. Here, you can reset your password, log out, and log in, and sign up. You can make your own things with this, like I have. I have made RF Drive, a small application where you can upload files, uh, you can view your files, and you can reset your password. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more videos. Bye!